Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm back at Wesley Chapel Toyota in Wesley Chapel, Florida, and we have probably one of the hottest things to come at a Toyota over the past few years. This is the all new, totally redesigned from stem to stern 2019 Toyota RAV4. Now the thing that I love about this is first of all, this is the adventure trim level. The adventure trim level looks different from all the other trim levels, plus it's featured in this blue flame color, this new color in the Toyota palette of colors. And it just, to me, this screams FJ Cruiser. And it breaks my heart to think that they don't have the FJ Cruiser anymore, and I'm hoping that Toyota brings it back. But in the meantime, we have this RAV4, and it is that adventure trim level. So let's talk a little bit about Toyota history. Toyota's been selling cars in the United States since 1957. Slow year, a little over 200 cars. You know what? Things have changed. They're one of the most powerful auto manufacturers in the industry, and they keep getting it done with great products that are reliable. Also, they're getting the business side of things done out on racetracks around the world. And they're taking that technology and putting it into the vehicles that they sell right here at Wesley Chapel Toyota. Let's switch gears and talk about the Toyota RAV4. Toyota RAV4, that sweetheart, that little crossover SUV sweetheart in Toyota's lineup has been around since 1994. Just to give you a little fun fact, that's the year I graduated from high school. So when this thing was born, I was graduating from high school, it's changed in size, it's changed in shape, and it's changed in its purpose. But you know what? The RAV4 is still getting the business done. And I think that you'll see, as I've seen, this new generation outdoes the outgoing generation, especially when we look at the RAV4 Adventure. So let's go ahead and dive into this all new 2019. First off, I love the headlight design. I love this angular cut here, and I like the way that they're positioned in the front grille, very aggressive, especially for a crossover SUV. You can see the bodywork on the front fascia, how it extends. You got the lower fog lamp here, and very tasteful black plastic around that fog lamp. Now, there is a little bit of fake venting. I'm not gonna zonk it because it's so small and minute, not a big deal. As we come across the front, this is all different. So the Adventure has a totally different nose, and this is what makes it look like an FJ Cruiser. I love the shape of the grille, all flat black. You can see that blue flame color coming through, more flat black, and then you have this silver trim area that is colored in a nice bright silver with that body molding feature, really gives it that off-road look. As we go from passenger side to driver's side, just very aggressive. I love it. It really fits in line perfect with like a Tacoma TRD Pro. Get ready though, 2020, there is gonna be a TRD Pro, the first time ever on a RAV4. I like the shape of the hood. It's got this C shape to it that goes from one side to the other. And if you notice, on the inside, you got this other body line that kind of veers off to the left on both sides. I really like that touch, gives it some definition. As we come around the sharp angular edges, here's where you're gonna see some of that off-road capability. So this Adventure sits 8.6 inches off the ground. That's a little bit higher than your standard RAV4. I like the flared fender. My only zonk is I wish that it connected. I wish that this piece would come and just fit flush with there. And maybe on the Adventure, it kind of flare out a little bit more than what you'd find on the other RAV4s. But it's got a great look, especially with the color, loving the wheel. Flat black, like the brushed aluminum look, just fits really clean. This is a 19 inch wheel, 235 on the width. And when we're looking at sidewall, a nice meaty 55 series on the sidewall, give you a nice ride as you're going down the road. This one has all wheel drive. What's amazing about it is that it will disconnect those rear wheels when you're doing highway speed so that you can save on the MPGs. But we'll get to that in a second. I like the addition of just a little bit of silver, nothing on the bottom, just on the top. They brought that beautiful blue flame color and spilled it on the mirrors. Nice, slim and thin LED turn singles. If you notice, we have some additions. So here at Wesley Chapel Toyota, they got a whole catalog full of different accessories that you could get on the top of your RAV4. These are already installed for that new owner when they buy it. Just shows the purpose of being able to put a kayak up there, bikes, whatever you want. And what I really like about it, it's not too tall. 
you could really get there and get down with the come alongs and strap everything down and not really be standing on your tippy toes. Love the body line, especially down here, the crease in the lower portion of the door. I think the flat black is perfect. That's going to help take a beating as you're hitting uh, stones and rocks and whatnot. Very good shape on the quarter window. And I think that this right here, this rear separation of the roof from the rest of the quarter really gives it a nice look. It's not like a full floating roof look, but I really like the way it goes from the quarter window into this back portion of the glass area. Now, as we come around, I like the blacked out. See that wonderful blacked out look on the taillights? And then one thing I'm not really the biggest fan of, and I'm gonna zonk, is just how far those taillights kind of peek out. Gives it more of a weird squared off extension look to it. There's our adventure badge. Where's the all-wheel drive badge? This is all-wheel drive. There needs to be that AWD, let people know what this thing is capable of. Very low, slim and trim um, rear uh, roof spoiler that is coming off. You got the nice slanted glass and then very clean out back. You got, I like the way the uh, all badges are blacked out. You have some more of that ABS black plastic, little bit of the silver and look, somebody listen to me. Exhaust on both sides gives it a great look. Why don't we go ahead, pop the hood, and see what's powering this RAV4 Adventure. All right, guys, hood is popped. We got the prop rod up. I am gonna zonka for that. Why they keep using these prop rods, but what's wonderful is how open the engine compartment is. Now, what you're looking at underneath the hood, that is that 2.5 liter inline four engine, naturally aspirated, 203 horsepower, 184 pound feet of torque. It's mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. If you're wondering, well, what am I gonna get MPGs? You know what, even in all wheel drive, you're looking at 25 in the city, 33 in the highway. Zero to 60 is a very lethargic 8.5 seconds. I would like to see that more at the seven second range. Not like you're drag racing everybody, but you know what? It's nice to have that little extra pep underneath your wheels. Weight, it weighs in at 3,640 pounds and it could tow around 3,500 pounds. I do like the way Toyota doesn't put a bunch of plastic over everything. You could clearly see where the engine is compared to everything else. And you know what? For an inline engine, it sits very low in the frame. So I'm sure that when we take this for a spin, we're gonna be able to feel that in the handling. But why don't we go ahead, fire it up, and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2019 Toyota RAV4. I know many of you are saying, Joe, I'm really liking this new RAV4, especially the adventure trim level. What's the price? You're looking at an MSRP of around $34,000 and change. Remember, that's with the all-wheel drive and with all the extras that come at that trim level of the adventure. Now, let's see what you get. Let's go to the door panels. I like the breakup of the black. A little bit of silver. I like the red contrast stitching and the faux leather on the armrest gives it a very nice look. Look at the speaker cover. They put some extra design to it that's actually carried through the whole car. And I like to see that. I like to see some thought put into the different cars that we drive each and every day. One thing that this car feels like though is a Subaru Forester. Even though it doesn't directly compete with the Forester, I feel like the this is a Forester Sport interior, the way the color combination is for sure. But let's go to the dash. I like the way the dash is very far forward. I like this dual plane going on. It's very soft. Everywhere you look, you got that orange contrast stitching, some orange in there. You see the pattern? That's the same pattern that was on the speaker cover. So I like that. I also like the silver trim. Very large eight inch infotainment system. It's one of those things People love them positioned like this. Other people don't. That's up to you. It's like beauty's in the eye of the beholder when it comes to your infotainment system. But this does have, um, you know, all the different functions. Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of that and get back to where we were at originally. But you could see very quick responding, very easy to get in your different settings and set everything up the way that you want to have it. So I'm very happy to have that so easily done. More of that nice soft material, very slim and trim on the AC vents here. I would like to have seen some silver here. They got the silver here, where is it here? That's, that to me is a zonk. 
dual climate control, very nice. The knobs are kind of weird. They almost look like two kind of eyeballs staring at you. But you know what? They work really well and you have this rubber material that even if you just got done eating uh, some fried chicken or something from KFC, I think you'd be able to grip these knobs and, and adjust them even if you didn't wipe your hands. It'd still be kind of gross though, so please wipe your hands. But anyways, dual climate. You can shut off the traction control by a switch of a button here. You got a 12 volt, you got USB and aux jack. There's more of that funky pattern where you could place your phone down there or whatever you got. This is what's controlling that eight speed automatic. I would like to see some silver. You see how they got the silver here? It needs to be silver up in this area. Yes, I'm being nitpicky, but these are the things you want me to point out. That You go watch somebody else's channel. I like the leather boot here. I wish they would have went orange contrast stitching. They must have ran out of stitching on this one. Would be nice to have the orange contrast stitching. Here's something that you don't get on all the RAV4s. I love this rotary dial. This is gonna allow you to go into mud, sand, rock, if you could believe that, snow, ex, uh, uh, descent travel, all those different functions, all by the twist of a knob. Plus you have sport, normal, and eco modes in this. A plethora of different settings for your RAV4. And when you come on over to the business side, I'll show you all those features as I play with those buttons and whatnot. Two cup holders, here's the key fob, let you know that you're driving a RAV4. So each car says the different name. You'll never get a key fob for a Camry if you're rolling out in the RAV4. If you are, I would ask your salesperson about that. Nice soft armrest. Where's my orange contrast stitching? What's going on here? So I'm gonna zonk that. I like to see cohesive continuity, but you know what? You open it up, lots of good space, two more USBs, which is a welcome, and then these seats. I like the look, I like the orange, the contrast stitching, this really cool like off-road pattern that's gonna help keep you held in, and there's a nice, amount of bolstering but not too bad to where they're going to hold you in place and you feel really really comfortable so i like that why don't you come on over to the business side of things and i'll show you behind the wheel all right guys we're behind the wheel of the 2019 rav4 you can see i'm six feet tall i got plenty of headroom i like the lighter headliner in here really kind of brightens it up you do get power assist for the driver which is a welcome here's one zonk and i don't understand this no leather wrap steering wheel this is good old-fashioned rubber I guess maybe they're thinking that you're going off-roading with your adventure and your hands are gonna be dirty. I would like to see leather, especially with some orange contrast stitching. Dash, you get a nice size digital display in the center with your speedometer, you got your tack and all your other instrumentation that's analog. Watch, I go into sport, turns red, because remember, red means race. Normal, and then eco. Eco means green, we got flowers growing as you drive down the road. You could also go into rock and dirt. And then mud and sand, I kind of like the way it shows the different uh, graphic down there, which is pretty cool. We got uh, snow, you see the little green light lit up as snow, and then we're now uh, doing a little active descent there. So kind of cool to have all that different functionality in your Toyota RAV4 Adventure. Up front, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see how much room people have back there. All right, guys, backseat time in the 2019 RAV4 Adventure. You can see in the door, they brought the orange contrast stitching, so I'm very happy to say that they continued that nice design. As you come in, surprisingly, a lot of room, especially a headroom, six feet tall, and I feel like I'm almost sitting on the floor. That's how much room I have. One thing you could do with the seats on the RAV4s, besides fold them down, you could actually have two separate settings for the back, so you could adjust it kind of awkward using that I have to go over like this and then go like that but it gives you a little bit of extra lean to keep you comfortable as you're driving down the road you have a nice uh, little command center here two rear AC vents two USBs which is a welcome and then you also have nicely padded two cup holders armrests which is very well placed very well done tons of room back here let's go ahead and check out the cargo area all right guys time to check out the cargo area on the back portion of the RAV4. You have electric assist on the quicker side, which is nice. It opens it up and you could see the amount of space in here. I'll get this box out of the way for you. But even with the seats reclined a little back, tons of room here. You lift this up, you get a nice spare tire. You don't get some uh, inflating tire repair kit. Nice spare tire, great amount of room. And then if you want to fold down those seats, One, two, three, 
There you go. So they actually fold fairly on the flat side. I'll lift this up so you can see, but tons of room in here. Unbelievable how much room. You got a 12 volt over here, which is great. And then of course, you got another little cubby. I'm gonna have O'Neill kind of swing around over there. I'll swing behind him. We'll do like a little dance over here. But on this side, you'll see you got a nice little cubby area with a cargo net. And then there's that um, 12 volt. Uh, and you have also another power source back here, which is great as well for a variety of different things. But if you're ready, I'm ready. You push this button. Let's go ahead and take this RAV4 Adventure for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Wesley Chapel Toyota. We are in the 2019 RAV4 Adventure. Remember, that naturally aspirated 2.5 liter made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. I'm gonna go ahead and slow down on this little back row, let these cars get ahead of us, um, and give you a taste of acceleration with the all wheel drive. I'm gonna left foot brake on throttle. Now, obviously, with it dry out right now, it's gonna grip. But I think what you're gonna find is this thing's gonna grip even if the roads are wet with that all wheel drive system. Really feels great with the torque vectoring and everything in the turn here. Great feedback. Driving along in this RAV4 with the all-wheel drive, you feel definitely planted and it gives really good feedback into the steering wheel. One thing I wish is there was just a little bit more weight in the steering wheel, but you know what? It isn't really too shabby, especially for uh, you know, a RAV4 that's not meant to be really um, the greatest in feedback to a steering wheel, but feels really great. I like looking out over that blue flame colored hood. Really just an iconic color, man. I mean, when you when you think, when I, at least when I think of FJ Cruisers, I think of that bright blue, but this thing drives very smooth over uh, different pieces of road that's not very even. And in sport mode, the automatic holds a gear nicely um, to where when you get back on throttle, you're already in that higher RPM range to get you going. I do it, have it in sport and it shows the gauges in the center all bright red um, because remember, like I always say, in the car industry for some reason, red means race. But if you know anything about racing, if your race gets red flag, that means you have to stop racing. So kind of interesting, but we're gonna pull away. I'm gonna get on throttle and just let the all wheel drive do its thing, which it does. No spin whatsoever, no torque steer whatsoever as we get onto this road. And as we cruise up, doing about 70 miles an hour, it, it drives very, very smoothly. Now, there is a little bit of wind noise coming, especially from the back doors. Um, so that's just something that I wish it was just a little bit more on the quiet side. And this steering wheel underneath my hands, I mean, it just, it feels inexpensive. I, I wish that they had uh, proper leather that would really just make it feel more on the price point, that $34,000 price point, make it feel much more on point. You have a very simple uh, rear view mirror that does its job, but there's you know no auto dimming or anything. But the great news is with the older style mirror, it's very slim and trim and out of the way. That large eight inch infotainment screen, no glare on the screen, so that's a great thing. Um, I just, I'm not so sure about the exact placement of it. Like I said, at the end of the day, some people love it, some people hate it. To get to the controls on the center console, very easy to do. And I like the way that it's flat black, especially for all the people out there that have a phobia towards fingerprints. You don't have to worry about fingerprints in this RAV4 adventure. And that seven inch digital screen that they're putting in a lot of their new models, really great job. All right guys, making a U-turn, obviously gonna be easy peasy on throttle. Now when you're in sport mode, if you're wondering, well, what does that actually do? It's gonna adjust the uh, way that the sensitivity of the throttle is and the power delivery and also holding that gear. When you get at a throttle, it holds that gear. I'll put it in normal and right away, it actually drops the RPMs a little. So that's a way for you to be able to see the difference um, between the different modes. And then of course there's eco. 
And when you put it in Eco, it feels like you're sipping a Slurpee through a really thin straw. That's what it, that's the best analogy that I could give you uh, for that. But very just smooth driving, comes with a whole plethora of safety features, lane trace, lane keep assist, um, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, really easy to use, keep you safe as you're getting down the road. But hopefully this gave you a nice taste of the RAV4 Adventure. We're gonna wrap this one up and get back to um, Wesley Chapel Toyota. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another wonderful, fantastic day here at Wesley Chapel Toyota. Definitely gotta give a huge thank you to Jeff. Everybody else here at the dealership, so accommodating, so glad to get this special RAV4 Adventure on Rady's Rise just for you. If these are the types of things you like to see on the channel, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for being part of the Rady's Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making this great content just for you, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. Get yourself some Rady's Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns O'Neill. He's at that level now, even with Tom, doing the business, getting the angles, eating his protein, working out in this hot Florida sun. So thank you, O'Neill, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.